Scotland. All right, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Hello again there, friends and fans. Oh, man. The land of enlightenment. And also the land of the Scots, apparently. The land of progress. Oh, wonderful iron ore mine here. Our first look at one of those here in the game. The land of science. And a steel mill, too. That looks great. The land of industry. It's beautiful roads. Oh, I'm excited. This is great. The Glasgow City Council wants to modernize the transport infrastructure so that the city remains the vibrant industrial metropolis that it is today in the future as well. Cool coal mine. With your transport company, you're as good as predestined for this sort of contract. There's the coal mine on the left, steel mill on the right. The shipyards on the Firth of Clyde have been famous for their sturdy boats for quite some time. New processes for the mass production of high-quality steel are now opening up previously undreamt of possibilities. A member of the City Council recently proposed to you during a pheasant hunt whether you'd like to supply his friends in the shipbuilding industry with this essential material. Coal and iron are available in abundance in the areas around Glasgow. Off to the blast furnace with them. Okay, let's get started then. Again, if you guys want to see more of this, make sure you click or tap that like button. Let me know you want to see more and to support, especially during COPPA. Greatly appreciate everybody's uh, support to try to keep the channel afloat during this epic battle against YouTube and the government. We're going to go ahead and build ourselves a drop-off point at the steel mill then, and a pickup point at the coal mine and also the iron mine, so that way we can start making that lovely steel. And then we're also going to deliver it inside of town. It seems like these distances are a little too short for a train, so uh, I guess we'll go ahead and get that done at some other point. Looks like there's also plenty of land in order to build ports, in order to uh, use some of the goods on the islands. I think we already saw a distillery that was out on one of the islands, so we can get started by uh, connecting all those up very soon. Let's go ahead and get to a county road. I'm going to try to do, uh, let's see, I think we can only really go about 40 miles or kilometers an hour, but the bigger that we build these roads, the more traffic that can go on them. So let's build ourselves a little road here, keeping uh, in mind all the terrain, see if we can keep it as flat as possible. A little bit of a collision there, there we go, swing it back over to the steel mill. So we're going to supply that and then start bringing that lovely steel inside town to uh, Glasgow and then see if we can start supplying that to the masses and start building some ships. There we go, perfect. Looks like a good connection to me. Alright, let's buy a road vehicle, a depot. And we're going to start buying some cars, in this case, carriages for horses. There we go. It should be just fine. Right about there. All right. Excellent. Let's go ahead and buy a total of, oh, I don't know, let's say, hmm, maybe uh, 15 to go back and forth from the iron mine, 10 for the uh, coal mine, and another 10 for the uh, town. So let's see how that looks when we make the purchase. Wow, 32000 each. Well, okay, let's at least purchase... Let's say 30 vehicles. How about that? We'll split that up. Nah, let's go 35. We're certainly going to need a lot of vehicles here. That's why I built a larger vehicle center there, too. Okay, let's get started by creating some routes now. So we go down to the line button, and we're going to first create one from the iron ore mine to the steel mill, one from the coal mine to the steel mill, and then we'll have to create a third one from the steel mill to the town. Even if we uh, don't have this as a mission objective, the town does accept steel. So it'd be a good idea to do that. And probably put it right about here, I think. That should be a good spot. Should we put it on the intersection? That'll look nice. Although we have to move some of these industrial businesses. It is in the name of progress. Okay, let's do one more from Glasgow uh, north to the center of the city. And that should be just fine. Could not connect the stations. Oh, is there a problem with the road? There is. There's no road here. Okay, let's build another one right along the coast. So let's go right over here. There should be a connection now. Well, that's a nice little connection near the shore. Okay, perfect. Now let's see if it counts that as a connection. It does. Perfect. All right, back to the road vehicle depot. And let's go ahead and get the first 15 assigned to the iron mine. So that'll be line one. Let's get the next, uh, I don't know, let's say 10 to go over to the other one. So let's go from, let's see, 16 to about maybe 30. Yeah, that should be good enough. We'll go line two, and then the steel will go from 31 to 35. And I think that'll be a good start. And eventually we'll probably have to buy some more road vehicles. But anyway, let's speed up time. We've got $97 million. I don't know if that's because it's a developer early build or something like that. But then again, these missions aren't too difficult. 
we're just doing basic connections. All right, there they go. And the troops are rolling out. Fantastic. All right, so we have a few vehicles heading into town. And as soon as that supply chain is connected, we'll be ready to go. In the meantime, I wonder if we could build a railroad uh, to maybe connect some of this steel together. I don't know if we can, look at, it's already full. I don't know if we can build a railroad or something to either connect the two towns together, but it seems like we might do that eventually with ports. There seems to be perfect connection for water on both of those. Might be a good idea to get started with that, though. I'm going to go ahead and pretend as if we're going to connect the iron mine, but we might connect both towns with railroads later. It is 1880, so it's likely that we're probably going to be building some sort of railroad connection between these towns, and also uh, via the ship as well. We do have our lovely little boat there. Our... Uh, I think our train maximum speed at this point is about 50 kilometers an hour. So let's build a cool tunnel, too, see how that looks. Oh, that's cool. Very nice. And we'll keep it along the coast, trying to keep it as flat as possible. The shipyards crave steel for colossal tubs. The bigger, the better. But it doesn't get there all by itself. Okay, so now we need to deliver 10 steel to the industrial area of Glasgow. Let's see if we've done that correctly. Oh, good. Oh, I, I don't know if we're close enough. That's a lucky convenience. Oh, no, we're fine. Okay. Ah, that's still going to take time no matter what we do. All right. So we can connect to the steel, or rather the iron mine, and possibly the steel mill if we make a kind of a uh, one-off junction there. This Wow, look, look at how tall that train is. I feel like it didn't need to be that high up. <laughs> they could have laid that flat on the ground. Or maybe not. Not sure. Okay. Let's continue building a train. Let's go up into the mountains a little bit. Wow, listen to that music too. They got a bagpipe pumping away for Scotland. That's that's really lovely. Okay, I don't know if we're going to build a passenger train here or a cargo train, so I'll just leave that track here. So we're close to the coal uh, mine if we need to, the steel mill, and the iron mine. And I'm going to just go ahead and pretend like, you know, we're going to connect over here, but I don't know if we have to. We have all the money in the world, so we can kind of do what we want. Plus, I kind of just like building trains, to be honest. Who doesn't like laying out train lines? Okay, that looks good. How are we on delivering steel now? Have we delivered any of that? Oh, good. Looks like the first steel is starting to arrive. We better buy some more road vehicles for that steel delivery. Uh, let's go ahead and go with more European covered wagons. Let's go with uh, maybe another... Let's go with ten of those, because it looks like we're producing quite a bit of steel. And we'll assign all these road vehicles to line three to go into town with the steel. Perfect. All right. So we just need somebody to come back and pick up the steel now. Looks like we're creating quite a bit of it. It's really good to see. All right. Oh, we got a lovely little train tunnel here. I wish we could build a bridge. I want to build a bridge somewhere. Oh, here comes our uh, wagons now. Are they loaded with steel? Yes, this one's five out of five. Perfect. So the first steel deliveries are on the way. Hopefully that's one, too. And it is perfect. Our second one's on the way. Oh, that's going to make us a ton of money. We've gone from like negative millions to negative 700,000. I hope we get to build some boats or something next. Maybe some commercial jets. I don't know. It depends. Your deliveries of high quality steel make it possible to build particularly seaworthy ships. Time to make use of these robust steamers. Oh. Sustenance for the city's working masses is found out on the islands. Delectable fish swim in the sea. And the distilleries on the Hebrides produce an absolutely exquisite whiskey. It's called the Water of Life. Get out there and explore the area. Every ship needs a harbor, and your venture needs a particularly good one. Okay, we need to build a cargo harbor now. Cool, we get our first ships in the game. Let's go for a cargo harbor to bring in that lovely whiskey. Okay, let's go with... This connection here looks good. Help to build a shipyard so that it won't be long before you can call a beautiful ship your own. And we'll build ourselves a shipyard right about here. There we go. Buy a stately boat that will sail you safely through the wild waters of the Western Isles on your daring expedition. Okay, we've got our Wilhelm or the... Uh, the D Dunara class? Let's go with that one. Explore the Western Isles to obtain fish and whiskey for the city. Passenger and cargo service, it seems, but... OK, 
Okay, maybe we're going to be able to uh, get ourselves a passenger service line soon. Okay, let's make a new line. And we'll go from Glasgow Exchange to uh, Ellen Harbor. Okay, that should be ready to go. Back to our uh, vehicle management. Sort by ship. And line four. Oh, we'll have to go by the shipyard then and assign it to line four. There we go. Cool. There she goes. So now we'll be able to go back and forth between the uh, harbor here and the distillery. Perfect. That's going to be our first objective completed. Oh, boy. I hope I get to use this train line. It seems like it's pretty much lined up for us to use. It seems quite obvious that we're going to have to connect something here. I'm assuming maybe we'll need to transport fish over here or something. But we might be able to do that via the ports, too. All right. Let's try to add some more tracks here. Let's swing this thing around. Well, that's going to be hard if we're going to get down to ground level. Industry is buzzing. Thanks to your services, its need for steel is always covered. In contrast, a lack of personnel looms on the horizon. Nowadays, the city's working class is outrageously spoiled. The workforce is rebelling more and more against the prevailing working conditions. On the other hand, in the Highlands, countless hungry people wait gratefully for employment. Oh. All that needs to be done is to get them to the city. Build a railroad in the wild west of the Highlands. <gasps> I knew so it. So that this remote stretch of land finally experiences the blessings of modern civilization. Way ahead of you, man. Right, let's build a connection here. Although I don't think our station has to be this long. Maybe 120 meters will do it. And that's even too much, too. But... It's a good start. All right, good. We got lucky with that. So the other one is to connect Fort William and then to steam up the harbor. So two jobs being done now at the same time. Oh, good. We finished that job. Uh, can I connect to the... Oh, we can actually connect to the truck depot. That's kind of useful. Although I need a little extra room here. So goodbye to the large building. Sorry about that, bud. There we go. All right, and uh, now we have to connect this to the train line. Well, that's going to be fun. Oh, perfect. I thought it was going to be impossible. Supply the city of Glasgow with workers none the worse for wear who haven't fallen victim to the union's pipe dreams yet. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, let's buy our first train of this episode. Uh, vehicle number one is going to be a BR-53. We'll also buy, uh, let's say, four Bavarian passenger cars. That should be fine. And then we'll need to make a new line for that one. These days, big landowners' fleecy balls of wool now graze where families of farmers once cultivated their patches. Lady McDougall asks for help. She wants to know if all her little sheep are still together. Oh, sure. Help with accounting. Look to see if all the sheep are still there. Looks like I didn't buy that road vehicle in the end. There we go. And let's assign it to a line now. All right, so we want it. What? Lady McDougal wants us to click on all these? All right, let's get started. All the people in charge have dozed off from all the county. Uh, make some noise to wake wake them up again. How do I wake people up? Uh, maybe we blow a train horn or a, a ship horn? Is there a way to do that? Hmm, I think I've tried this before and the game will crash if I try to click or tap on the uh, horn button or something like that. I also looked in the uh, controls and I don't remember seeing a horn. Let's see, zero out of three. Make some noise. Where do I make noise? It says zero out of three, but I don't see any question marks. I don't know how to wake them up. Ah, here comes our passenger service line. Wow, it's high speed line. Alright, we need to transport 20 people between, so that's five, so that's a good start. Gets us a quarter of the way there. And maybe even more if the train was already hauling people to begin with. But it looks like they're more likely to come into Glasgow than to leave. Alright, three. How do we wake people up now? 
Well, obviously the ship has a uh, giant horn that it could blow, but I don't know of any buttons to do that. We better save too, just to make sure. Well, I'll do that a little bit later. Actually, there's an auto save, so we should be fine. Hmm. How would I make noise? Dozed off, make some noise to wake them up again. I don't know. <laughs> Can I have a clue? I don't know what to do with the uh, making noise. Is there maybe like a foghorn somewhere? Any lighthouses? Nope, I don't see any of those. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how to do that. We'll come back to that one. Let's finish up uh, transporting people. I got lucky with building the station where it needed to go. Or at least having a rail line there. And I think I just saw a house being built. Look at that, a factory. Cool. There goes the train. Six out of 20 people transported so far. And another nine people on board the train. Excellent. That puts us up over halfway then. Beautiful. On to sec our second goal here soon. Well, <clears throat> Glasgow accepts uh, rum, or rather whiskey. We're transporting that. Also uh, steel, but unfortunately we don't have any fish connected. So we'll have to figure out a way to get that over here, and I'm sure that'll be part of our next goal. Let's see. Still looking around for a way to make noise. Although I didn't see it in the hotkeys. What are you doing there? There seems to be somebody stuck out here. There's just an endless carriage running around. That's interesting. Wonder if I have to connect to get this person out of here. What's going what's going on? Why is that person trapped? Must be part of the story. I don't know where we're going to find dozed off people, but there are three levels of passengers waiting here at Glasgow. That's good. I think our train can transport over 20 people. Let's see where that train is now. It's got uh, 32 passengers on board. Oh, that's going to be great. Although it doesn't seem to have recognized that we were trying to drop off people last time. Last time it was loaded with nine and doesn't seem to have given us that uh, number. I don't know why they would have gotten on the train if they didn't intend to get off at Fort William. Take a look at the beautiful train. Awesome. The new workers from the Highlands are remarkably productive as they slave away. To keep them in a good mood, and make sure they don't fall for any kinds of rebellious activities, precautionary sedation is called for. Whiskey from the Western Isles is excellently suited to this purpose. Supply the city with cheap booze that pacifies the dissatisfied so that subversive activities don't get started. Plunge into the wonderful world of spirits. Thanks to your supply, no one will be left high and dry. Okay, we should be able to start picking up uh, whiskey then, but uh, I thought we were already doing that by having our ship connected. Let's see. Oh, it's configured for 100 steel. Uh, the vehicle should be able to haul any cargo. I don't think we have to reconfigure it. Without fail, some of the whiskey oddly disappears in transit. Is it likely that it evaporates out on the open seas? Is it the legendary angel share that imperceptibly vanishes there? If it is, then the angels must be awfully thirsty. A ship sails through the locks of the Inner Hebrides, rolling from side to side in peculiar curves. Word has it that cheerful singing coming from the steamer was heard on shore. Captain Klein says the ferrymen are very poorly paid so they might have occasionally treated themselves to a sip from the cargo. That just won't do, of course. If at all, then they ought to get drunk like self-respecting people do it, inside a good pub where it's nice and cozy. All right, supply the pub with whiskey. Well, there's the pub there. 
All right, so we're just tasked now with picking up. Uh... Oh, we should be able to pick this up, right? Consumers, Glasgow and Glasgow Pub, shipping zero. Well, they should be delivering stuff here at the uh, harbor, and it should be automatic. I don't think we need a horse-drawn cart or anything to deliver stuff there. It's just kind of automatically appearing, or at least it should. But I don't see any cargo stacking up. Shipping, zero out of 100. Uh, let's take a look at that line. Line four. No filters set. Well, let's load with... Let's make sure it loads with whiskey at Glasgow Exchange. Other way around. Uh, we'll unload with whiskey at Glasgow Exchange. And we'll load with whiskey at Port Ellen Harbor. And let's make sure it does that. Okay, so uh, whiskey, load, Port Ellen, Glasgow Exchange on load okay now I can tell it to not leave until it's full oh wait a minute passenger cargo oh, looks like I might be able to build some cargo docks here looks like we're also connected to the road this also was like this to begin with this was already pre-built so I didn't have anything to do with this so whiskey should already automatically be being shipped here production is 100 Huh. And yeah, that's the only pub around, or rather the only uh, distillery. Okay. So I don't know how to wake up all the people yet. And we need to deliver whiskey of 25 and the pub. So both of these, I suppose. Unless there needs to be a way to ship it from here. Oh, oh I see now. I need to ship it from the harbor here to inside town. That's where I was going wrong. Got it. All right, mystery solved. I was yelling at my screen, YouTuber. Slow down. It was painfully obvious. Yes, yes it was. All right, let's build another road depot here just because we have millions of dollars and it'll make things faster. Let's slow down time in the meantime. Yeah, let's go ahead and put it back here. Uh, we don't want a tram depot though, just a regular road depot will do. Cool. Okay, now time to make a new line. We'll do that before we buy some new vehicles. So it's gonna have to go from the harbor uh, to the Glasgow city center. That should be near the pub and also the commercial center. So that should be fine. So let's go ahead and start uh, buying five of those vehicles then. Let's buy five European covered horse drawn carriages. And you know what? I'm going to buy like 10. Just because we have so much money and I want to see it get done ASAP. So 10, line 6, go right ahead. All right, perfect. So now that should connect the uh, rest of the line. So they should be ready to pick up that stuff and deliver it here. And that does reach the pub, which is right there. And also the rest of the commercial district, as we were told. Apparently I somehow woke up two out of the three people. What is it? Is that me building buildings? Is that what's doing that? Oh, it looks like me building buildings makes them wake up. Two out of three because I built the road depot. Okay, let's make an extension just to try to wake somebody up. Can I put down a random thing? Alright, it looks looks like I was able to figure that out. Let's try putting down a tree. Let's see if that works. Oh, oh. What's going on here? Oh, oh yeah. Inventory's over and done with. The sheep are all there. Madam, sir. Great. Mission complete. Good, I'm glad I figured that out. Okay, awoken, done. All right, great. Now I hope we have our supply for the pub ready. Let's see if this actually starts putting uh, booze out here. Oh, I think they are. Is, are those crates full of, uh, it's hard to tell. Well, it says eight, nine now. Okay, so we've definitely figured that out, perfect. Now we just need 25, so whenever that ship comes back, it should be able to pick up 10. There it goes. 12. All right, two trips should do it. Let's tell our ship to... Uh, is there a way to get it to stop just for a time being? Yeah, go ahead and stop right there. Just 
hang out in front of the harbor until we get to 25, and then we'll tell it to go, and that'll be another job done. So that'll complete the whiskey delivery to town and also to the pub. 22, 23. All right, we can now start the ship again. And perfect, a little extra then for the angel share, I guess. Cool, while our train is delivering people back and forth, all of our horse-drawn carriages are working like crazy. Probably would have been maybe a little more efficient to build a train here, to be honest, like if I just built a small train line, but it just seems more correct to connect everything via cart because they're so close to each other. Coal mine, iron mine, steel mill, all within a small area. Seems to be better for the, for the uh, road vehicles. There goes our ship. Look at her go. Oh, that's beautiful. The water is just gorgeous. They've done a great job. And so have we so far. So keep in mind, when you play this and have to wake people up, it's about not blowing a horn, but about constructing buildings or random assets. I kind of like that you can decorate. That's kind of nice. I don't know if that was a feature in the old one or maybe a part of an update. All right, beautiful. She's steaming towards port, so that'll be hopefully two objectives completed. Now, we'll have to do something with the fish, and I'm assuming we're probably going to have to pick it up via a ship. But if not, I can add a cargo terminal to the train, and we could uh, have horse-drawn carriages bring it to the train depot, and then we could just have a second line since we have so much money, and we'll build a cargo terminal. That will be kind of cool. All right, here comes the ship. Fully loaded with 25 barrels of whiskey. And there she is. All right, now it just got it's just got to get taken up there by the wagons. Now they should be able to haul five at a time. So hopefully we'll see it delivered in no time. Oh, looks like it's down to 22. So that is uh, five, right? So this should be down to uh, 17. Yep. Cool. So they're hauling five. Excellent. Now, how much can be produced by the time the ship gets back? Let's see. Oh, wow. 61 barrels. That's probably going to be almost 100 by the time he gets back. Cool. There goes the passenger train. Looks like that's a correct size for the train. Not too many passengers remaining. And the train has 21 out of 32. Not bad. Okay. Slime chain, as they say around here. Lately, people have been quenching their thirst and staying dry at the same time. Oh, good. Okay, just a little bit more whiskey to deliver. And we are done. Oh, Glasgow is like bumping. Scotland's just got it going on. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Look at all those vehicles coming in. Look at that. Each one of those is loaded with either fuel, oh, well, steel, I mean, or uh, a different type of fuel known as whiskey. Am I right? So, oh, thank you. Yes. Thanks to you, throats are well lubricated all over Glasgow. But on an empty stomach, the water of life makes people anything but lively. What's required is a sound basis in the form of solid food. A new dish is currently on everyone's lips. Deep fried fish with deep fried potatoes. What a culinary delight. Help this masterpiece of British cuisine to triumphant progress. Okay. Your services are going to stuff the city's jaws and provide fishing operations on the Atlantic with record sales. Okay, so we're building another cargo hub. Nice. We should be able to ship that into town too. Via the same line that we're using our whiskey. So let's buy another ship just for fish. Let's buy another one. This one's faster too, I think, isn't it? Let's see. 32 versus 40. All right, we're going with the faster one. And let's create a new line. Add station one and two. There we go. 
perfect and back and forth. Okay, let's go ahead and assign this one to line two, seven in this case. Two for our ships though. Excellent. So one is hauling whiskey, the other one will be picking up and dropping off fish. And we need to uh, build a cargo station at the fishery and use the tracks to connect it to Glasgow. Oh, you want me to do it via the train? Oh, okay. Well, we can make double the profits this way, so that's fine. Um, so let's see. We'll have to do it the way we thought before. Wow, why? This would be just so much easier to connect it via ship. But okay, we'll do it your way. That means we have to connect a road then. There we go, that's good. Yeah, this one doesn't need to be that wide. So we'll just build it through the woods. There we go. Now we can build a cargo station here. Actually, I wonder if we can deliver directly to the train station without having to do a truck station. I don't think that's possible. So let's just build another truck depot. Perfect. And one over here. Ba, ba, ba. The music really keeps you going. And another road depot. Alright, cool. Well, we'll connect it and ship it out two different ways. That'll be fine. I thought the uh, ship was the more obvious choice, but I guess they need a high-speed train <laughs> delivery for deep-fried fish. Okay, so let's build a new line then. So this one will be line number eight going from the fishery to our train station there. And I think we'll just buy maybe five vehicles to start with. Cool. All right, now we can add a terminal. Let's see, we can do a cargo terminal now. So if we build a platform, uh, we'll have to build it on this side, I think but it has to be a cargo platform. There we go. Could be a small train, I suppose. Oh, it doesn't look like it'll work. Hmm, things are a little too crowded. I'll have to move this building out of the way. Sorry about that, but you've gotta go. Cargo Depot. Okay, that should allow us to start picking up cargo. Now, I think we can trick the game, hopefully, into letting us do this. If I connect it this way. So, connecting a fishery. So, it says to build a cargo station at the fishery, which we did, right there, and use the tracks to connect it to Glasgow which it is already connected, we just probably need to build a cargo station so that way it can possibly work. Or, I could build a new line from here. Oh yes, okay, we're gonna have to build one at the other side. I'd prefer using the boat, so maybe I can just get them to chill and do it our way. Because our, I think using the uh, train line is fine, but the ship just seems to be better capable of transporting that large amount of goods. Can't build it on that side, great. Oh, well, we certainly can't build it over here. Cargo platforms are rather large. Oh, I guess we can tuck it into that small space, okay. All right, now we have a cargo terminal. We might not use this, but that's fine. Or I can make a junction bypass area somewhere up ahead. Okay, now let's create a line. That should trigger it to allow me to proceed. So the Glasgow cargo station to the Fort William cargo station. Build a cargo station at the fishery and use tracks to connect it to Glasgow. Oh, really? You want me to build one actually here? Alright, the, the 
game's getting really picky on what it wants me to do. <laughs> Alright, we can connect it here. Maybe we can trick it. It's much easier to do it the way I did by uh, building first a ship, and then second of all, a line that goes into town and then delivers it, you know, away from the fishery so the train doesn't have to go as far. Building a railroad when there's already pre-existing roads is a little pain in the neck, but all right, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do as they say. Now we have millions of dollars. Is there a way I can connect it here? Oh, I'd hate to remove these buildings, but... Sorry, the game has some weird, uh... <laughs> Sorry about this, folks. The game has some weird uh, requirements of me. Sorry. Sorry for cutting you off from your loved ones and destroying your house. The fish out in the Atlantic leap happily into the nets, all on their own. Thanks to the railroad, the merchandise is even still fresh when it arrives in town. still deliver the fish via the tr uh, the truck or the the boat so the boat will come over here it's got 74 fish and this one's probably loaded with fish already or it was oh yeah there's already tons of fish sitting here so there's 40 fish sitting. a mysterious stone circle is going to transport you into the past where you can help James Fraser an equally courageous and passionate man to win the decisive battle of Culloden against the English Redcoats and write history in the process what? The stones don't reveal their secret to just anyone. Prove that you are worthy of their wonders. How is this achieved? Well, that remains to be seen. What? Uh, the solution is written in the stars, so that means we go one, two, three, four. Modify the carriage route and let it drive along the secret form. Uh, yeah, so you usually go boom. Wait, how do you do this? One, two, three, four, like that? One, two, three, four. I think. I don't remember how to do that. Uh, all right, let's see. So how do I modify the route? Apparently, there's are all stops for it. How do I... Uh, what route is this thing on? Oh, here we are. All right, configure line. Ah, okay. Weird. Let's just start from blank. All right, we'll have to start here in the corner. Get rid of that one. So it should go. Uh, why does it have two stations? One. Wait, what? I don't remember how to do this. Was it like this? One, two. Like that? One, two. One. I can't. I can't even remember how to do. Hold on. No, it's up to the top first. I have to I have to draw with my hand to remember how to do this. It's where you draw a star on paper. So it starts in the lower left corner, I think, then up to the top. So let's redo that. So it should be here. What the hell? No, I'm not done with this one. No, stop celebrating. I'm not done with the mysterious stone thing. Hold on. One, two. So it should go here and here. Is that right? 31425, I think. Uh, what does it say? Solving the stern so stone circle. Okay, modify the carriage route. Okay, let's see if that works. It's paused, so maybe it just needs to drive on the route once. I don't know why they're going to transport me back in time. It was just like this weird random last minute thing. All right, well, at least we completed all of our objectives. If I do this one, it'll give me that last gold thing. So, solving the stone circle puzzle. Modify the carriage route, solution is written in the stars. Yeah, so you have to draw a star. Are you kidding me? Yeah, because if I do this, it'll be one, two... Is that connected? Yeah, that should create a star. Unless they want me to start from a certain position. Modify the carriage route driven along in the secret form. Well, you should start in the lower left corner. The secret of the yes. stones has been revealed. It worked. Although they didn't teleport you back to 1746, it was only to last Monday morning. 
but maybe that is better than waking up in the midst of a fierce battle. Cool. All right, that is it for this episode, everybody. We did everything we needed to do, so I'll see you all next time for more. Thank you very much for leaving a like on the way out. Remember to use your blinker, and I'll see you for more next time. Goodbye, everybody. Mission 4 coming up next.